Well, hello, kindred spirits. I thought today I would show you how I made my bread pudding. I do have a video from maybe two years ago, maybe a year ago, I don't remember, but it's more of an overhead video and I had a couple of requests about how I make mine. And I thought I'm bringing this today to a friend's house and dropping it off over there and it's so easy. I thought I'd set up the camera and just show you how I make it. So you, very few ingredients, very few. All you're going to need is a bread, six to eight slices. This is the one that I showed you um, in my last video from the bakery. And I'm using seven slices, it's extra big, but you know, I usually go to Pepperidge Farms or something that has some fruit in it or some flavor. You can do plain bread, you can do bread with nuts in it, whatever you like. So you're gonna need bread, two eggs, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, pinch of salt, one cup of sugar, and a can of evaporated milk. And all I'm going to do is I'm first putting the bread into some sort of container. So, oh, and also two cups of water because what I'm going to be doing is putting the bread in a container and I'm pouring water over it just to really saturate it and make it moist. Once it's soaked up all the water, then we're going to put it together in a bowl, all of these items, put it in a casserole dish or whatever you want to bake it in, put it in the oven, two hours, and then it's done. And I think it was, let me see, the temperature of the oven is 350. All right, so I'm just gonna put this together and pop it in the oven. I'm gonna be on a conference call today with a new design client. I figured this could be baking away while I'm working and then by the time I have to leave, it will be nice and warm. And we have a big snowstorm heading our way. It's probably right out the door coming. So I'm gonna hopefully get it to her home before the snow comes. All right, so let's get baking this bread pudding. Okay, so first, like I said, I'm just going to be putting the bread here in this container, and this is some very thick bread. Like I said, that's why I'm only using seven pieces. Probably have to cut, break some of this up. And it's okay if it gets broken because you're going to be mixing this and mushing it together anyway. The whole point of this is just to make it wet. I still have some dry spots, so I'm just going to grab a little more water to get that. Just a smidge more. There we go. Okay, so that's going to soak it right up. So I'm going to put this aside. Never fails, water comes out. And now all I'm going to do is beat the two eggs just slightly. You just want to have them started because this is just all going to be mixed together in a large bowl after. Just so they're incorporated with each other. Don't want to have some egg whites just hanging around. All right. And then I have to open my condensed milk. Shake up the condensed milk. It'll be really nice. This is my mom's recipe. Um, it, it's, it's so good. I really, I go, when I go to restaurants and ask for their bread pudding, um, it can't compare. And it's funny, my husband thought I already did a bread pudding video. I'm going to have to look now that I'm doing this. Maybe I did do a second, but um, some, you know, I got some requests yesterday. Eek. Oh no. This is having technical difficulties. There we are. So once my bread is completely saturated, everything's soaked up, I'm going to break it up and put it here in the bowl. 
I'm gonna just put my ingredients in. It is so easy. The easiest bread pudding recipe I've ever made. I think it's the only bread pudding recipe I've ever made, actually. Um, and I know some of you who watch have made this bread pudding from the past, and it sounds like it's been a great success for you, too. So thank you for letting me know that. For the, the casserole dish that I'm using, I really don't even know what size this is, honestly. It looks like a standard casserole dish to me. But I usually make it in this when I'm making it for us here at home. But since this is going to a friend's house, I'm going to try using this one that has a lid. I don't know if this is going to be too much for this particular container. Um, if it is, I'll just transfer it over. But I like this. This was one of the Southern Living products from a long time ago. I sold that for, for a hot minute when I had my retail store. I also had a whole display shelf of their items and I just really like the quality of them. But um, I just thought I would share that. So if it doesn't fit there, we're going to go with the old standby, a regular casserole dish. The bread is almost ready. I even broke it up a little bit more because this was really thick and since I had the bread here in the house, um, when did I, I just last saw the video? January 26th actually, we did the video together that I was baking the rum cake and this has kind of hardened up a bit so I would wanted to break it up. I had a little bit more water and it's almost saturated. And then once I mix together the milk and the eggs, it's really going to get nice and moist. What I like about this bread pudding is, or I should say, at some restaurants when I get bread pudding, it's cut with a knife and you, it's, it's not really a pudding to me. This is so soft and velvety. And then with the sugar and the evaporated milk, it has nice, really rich, caramely edges. Can you see there's a theme here with my desserts, you know, between things that I've been making? They all have some richness and some just creamy texture to them and a lot of flavor. But I love this because there's so few ingredients and you really can whip it up quickly. Or the only part that really takes a while is the baking time of the two hours. But I think we're about ready here. Um, just gonna do some of this. And honestly, I think since this is gonna be sitting for a bit, while I am on my call, I can probably take this out right now and get it just at least in the mix. Let's see. This bowl looks it's like it's going to be a bit of an issue. I keep saying I'm going to get a very large mixing bowl and I have yet to do it. Sorry about the banging sound. Let's see. This bread would be wonderful for the casserole, um, French toast for the morning. I have some extra, I could probably do that as well. Just push my sleeves up here a bit more. I should probably have on my apron. All right, so I'm just gonna put in my pinch of salt. My two slightly beaten eggs. My cup of sugar. the half a teaspoon of vanilla, how easy is this? And then the can of evaporated milk. And like I said, this is going to help a lot with the moisture of the bread pudding. And now I gotta slowly do this, and this is when I wish, I probably wish I had my apron on. This does not help the diet plan or the eat and healthy plan that I really wanted to start you know january 1st i wasn't making my new year's resolution but we are eating healthier and this does not help i mix this real slow so i did go to the doctors the other day and we were talking about weight and women my age 50, i'm 55 and first we were talking about menopause Yes, they did a lot of blood work, I should tell you. And we found out one of the reasons why I'm gaining weight. Um, one is low vitamin D. They said, you know, once I get my D levels up, I will feel more energetic and it will help with metabolism and all that. But it really came down to, other than the menopause, I have what is called, ready? Mouth open upus too muchus and slothitis. 
I know, it's, it sounds very severe, and I think maybe some of you have been diagnosed with it before too. Once again, it's mouth open up as too much as and slothitis. That's really all it comes down to. Eating too much, not working out enough, or not getting enough exercise. So once again, this is not helping that, but um, I'm determined. I have lost four pounds since January 1st. I'm doing it the proper way. I don't want to lose a lot of fast weight because that will come right back on. I'd rather lose that little ounce at a time. And by the summer, I should be at my goal weight of what I used to be. Somebody mentioned that at 5'2", that one of the followers, that you know, weight happens fast. It's so true. I'm 5'1". I'm right now on my bare feet. When I'm on my heels, I'm taller. Um, it's so true. You know, when you're short, it shows up a little bit more. But um, when the clothing tells you it's time, it's time. All right, so this looks fantastic. I'm just going to see if it fits in this container here. If it does, wonderful. And then we'll just sit there for a while because I'm not going to pop it into the oven until probably 1130. And these will rise. So I always put it on a, a cookie sheet, tin foil, and then this. It will rise. Some might bubble over. Um, but that's okay. Unfortunately, I cleaned the oven on one of my past videos here with you. And the other day I made a chicken pot pie. I forgot to put the cookie sheet and tin foil under the chicken pot pie container. And it made my, my nice clean oven messy. But like I said, if you're not making a mess in the kitchen, it's no fun. All right. Let's see if this fits. If not, I'm going to be prepared to put it in the other one. I'm just taking a step back. I don't trust myself. Oh, well, we got it. All right, perfect. So this is very deceiving. A lot of liquid here, but it will once again soak up a lot more of this bread. But this is gonna fit perfect. Then I, now I can carry it to my friend's house with a cover. And I, f I know I always forget to put my name underneath because I will want this back, but all right. I'm not going to cook it with the cover on, though. All right, I'm just going to let this sit now. Like I said, I'm going to let it sit until I have to pop it in at 11.30, 2 hours, 3.50, then it will be good to go. I love to serve this with whipped cream. I love to serve it with maple syrup. You can have it with honey. Um, so many different toppings. My mother just mentioned that she had one at her home where um, it was chocolate covered raisins was used. Can you imagine? Uh, so yeah, bread pudding. this thick bakery bread really soaked up the moisture. So if I was using the regular slice, I would have gotten my more caramely sauce around the edge, but this still came out so good and it was very delicious.